welcome to another episode of Ridiculous Reverb Listings. I am your host, Fluff, and we got some doozies for you people. I'm not even going to beat around the bush or sugarcoat it in any way. Got some doozies. If you have a listing you'd like to see on the show, I will link down below in the description. Without further ado, let's dive in, shall we? Flag EVH Eddie Van Halen 812 Cabinet 1980s Great Garbage 200 Fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Quarter million dollars. Is there anybody out there? Is there anybody out there that has a quarter million dollars in their bank accounts right now that was just sitting on their couch going, I should buy something on Reverb. Because if so, I got you. Eddie Van Halen's 812 tour cabinet made by Flag Systems built specifically for Ed. These were not production models. Orton Flag's product line. Letter from Flag President David Forney authenticating the build as there is a unique material inside that they are specifically used on these. David also wrote that there were dummy cabs used to fill the stage at the U.S. Festival. 1983 cab has a Flag serial number plate and is numbered these blah, 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 blah. These cabs are used throughout the 80s until Ed got the deal with PV sometime in the early 90s. Let's talk about that price. The reality is no one knows what its value is as I can't find another one or one that has sold. In the case of celebrity owned cabs, 99%, blah, 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 so you never know. Many of Ed's cabs were really, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We can all agree that something is worth what someone is willing to pay for it. So basically he made a sky high offer or a price listing and his open offers. Let's check out a cap. That's pretty cool. I think these are the cabs that like he used to, like they used to like wobble and like he used to like kick or something, right? It's cool. It's super cool. Celestian Black by X, it looks like. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, these. Uh, although I always thought these were vertical, you know, stacked the other way, but yeah, that, that makes sense. That's cool. I recognize those. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I do recognize those. Super cool. Super cool. Phoenix, Arizona. All right, well, make this guy an offer if you're a Van Halen cab collector or something. I don't know. Certainly ridiculous. Next listing. Ibanez Geo 2000s customized. You don't say. <laughs> what? It's on sale though. It's not $4.99, my friend. No, 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 no. There's $3.99. Look at that thing. Oh my Lord. <laughs> I mean, what can I say that hasn't already been said by all of you screaming at your screens right now? That is horrible. That looks, I don't, why is there a neck, is there, so cool, wait, wait, wait. This neck plate says Moxie guitars on it. Am I to am I led to believe that this is a customized guitar? Oh boy. Yeah. It's a you know, I didn't even know places like this exist until I started this series on this channel. Like there are people that take $99 guitars and then add $100 tuners in this case, paint it and then want hundreds of dollars for this guitar even though it's a plywood guitar. This is an Ibanez Geo that was bought, brought to the Moxie guitar shop and we did a full makeover. The only thing Ibanez on here is the body, neck, and bridge. The rest is all upgraded and customized. Well, with the body, neck, and bridge, what else is there left on the guitar besides the pickups? Custom hammered metal type finish. CTS pots, you know what, I'm sold. Guys, they use CTS pots. Oh man, over $300 worth of upgrades on a $99 guitar. 
Oh man, someone got duped on this guitar or something. I don't know. $3.99 guys. $3.99. That's that's that. Fender Telecaster slash Esquire 1955 Natural. $8,773.16. Need that 16 cents, otherwise no deal. Oh boy. So is this a vintage body and some parts? Oh man. I'm assuming these are proper vintage parts. Fender Telecaster 1955 body, one piece and parts, repro pick guards. It needs a neck, needs a bridge, needs a neck pickup. Esquire doesn't need that if you want to make it into an Esquire. No PayPal. $8,773 and they have two sentences and five pictures for almost $10,000. Can you believe that? I don't even know what I'm looking at here. How do I know that's old? I'm sure there's experts. I'm sure Joe Bonamassa could be like, uh, yeah, the, uh, those holes specific to the, uh, the bridge are in that pattern. And that was mean, that means it was made by Marv on Wednesday and he made, liked sandwiches from his wife on Thursdays for lunch and blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't know, but $8,773 seems like a lot for no further proof of what that thing is. That's all I'm saying. Washburn Bootsy Collins Space Base 2002. That is that is a funky base. Bootsy Collins, a very prolific bassist. Parliament, Funkadelic, George Clinton, all sorts of other stuff. That's pretty sick. Certainly ridiculous, yes. But that is awesome. I didn't know Washburn ever uh, made a version of his base. That's super, super cool. Wow. It's a Washburn custom shop. That's really, really cool. 5,000 bucks? I mean, it's custom shop. Yeah, limited to 100 instruments. I mean, that 250 red and white Swarovski Austrian crystals. Are crystals just glass? I don't know. My ex-wife thought differently, I guess. Made in the USA. Maple, star-shaped. Uh, that doesn't seem that. I mean, the base is certainly ridiculous, but Bootsy Collins is ridiculous. Much respect, Bootsy. That's the whole thing is being ridiculous, right? It's not that ridiculous. Hey, those bucks. It's the right person. Term. Not that ridiculous. That's not that. Heritage. <laughs> a picture of a phone with the pictures on it. I don't think I have ever seen this before. Currently not listed anymore. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> oh my God. There's a heritage guitar, apparently. Also, this was taken at 8.47 in the morning. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. I am so desperate to sell this that I am going to use a second device to take a photo of the phone with the pictures on it did my grandmother list this? Beautiful guitar, great sound, well cared for, must sell. 100p that's stolen or something. Like that's, there's no way someone's just like, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna upload this. What? Oh my goodness, that's a first. I've never seen that. 
Wow. We're making history on uh, on Reaver Blistings here, guys. Oh, wow. All right. Let's move on. And last but not least, 1960s Gibson Melody Maker Miami Vice graphic with Novak MM90 pickups. The homies of Thunder Road Guitars again. What's up, Frank, my boy? This is wow. I mean, what is more 80s, what is more Miami Vice than this guitar paint job? Look at this thing. Unbelievable. You know, this thing is a, what, a 60 year old instrument by now? But back in the 80s, it was, what, 15 years old or something? It was just a used guitar. It wasn't really, you know, vintage or anything like that. To put this into some sort of context, these weren't expensive guitars in the first place. These were student guitars. And, you know, they're a slab body. They were cheap. And that's probably why they got painted for some shtick. Oh man, that's all that is so 80s. Oh man. That's rad though. <laughs> it's well done. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is <laughs> I can hear the synthesizers now. Still worth 2,700 bucks though. We're guessing we either love or hate the graphic design that looks like it came straight from a Miami Vice style book. I'm sure it sounds cool. Six pound guitar, that thing is light. Yeah, is that ridiculous? Yes, yes it is. Not bad price though, all things considered. And that does it for this episode of Ridiculous Reverb Listings. If you have your own listing that you would like to see on the show, shoot me an email at the link down below. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.